जावा स्क्रिप्ट ट्रिकी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वेलकम टू कोडिंग लॉकर गाइस दिस इज चंदकाशरियानी एंड इफ यू गाइस हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर्ड योर सेल्फ फॉर एन इंटरव्यू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू अपीयर फॉर एन जावा स्क्रिप्ट इंटरव्यू दिस इज द बेस्ट वीडियो फॉर यू गाइस आई कैन आई कैन प्रॉमिस यू बिकॉज दिस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल नॉट टीच यू वट आर द कंसेप्ट वट द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज वन ऑफ दैम इज हेयर सो वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू लेम यू ओपन माई इनकॉग्नेटिव विंडो एंड आई कंसोल लॉग Let's talk a bit about JavaScript. Let's see how we have prepared ourselves. Do you know what is false, falsy, and to the well, to the values in JavaScript? No. Nope. Hope you know that. Let's try with an example. Let's suppose you have an, uh, uh, let's say, example, uh, any object which is one and two. So this is an array, right? I want to make sure. that if my object is not empty or if it is not if it is having a length is greater than 0 only then i want to achieve some sort of operation let's suppose my uh, uh, let me enter this so if my object is not equals to null and my object is not equals to uh, sorry dot length is greater than 0 and only then in the console dot log print it's not empty right so if i press enter it's not empty we have the message here the reason behind this my object is having right now the word what is the other way How, what is the shortcut to check this so in javascript instead of doing this you can also do if my object and you can print the same message here see what basically it is doing it is saying the value is where we were the value is through the right so we have seen at first so what basically it checks it checks that if it is not a falsy value so what are the falsy value in javascript let me clear this and will tell you what are the falsy values in javascript so one is false one is null undefined and maybe empty and 0 and a and these are the six values which are considered as a falsy other than this we have the true the values then what is the true values true values is true and the value which is not a false value right and to the value uh, uh, values we have seen this when we have done this my object that means it says it's a true value right we have seen that now you can uh, say one thing that if my object is returning something in the console so can i say my object is equals to equals to true what do you think let's see no so that is what i have told you here so this is false is different true is different and truly is different it is a true the value but it's not a true value right and in the previous where i have seen that where you were checking if my object this one not equals to null so let's suppose further you want to check if my object is not uh, uh is not undefined maybe right my object not equals to false maybe so instead of writing these 4 5 6 value you can simply go with this so this would make sure all the six things one of the shortcut now i was talking about why true the values are not equals to true values we have seen that and let me uh, i think cover with this what is a false value in that we will cover everything so let's suppose uh let me press and enter so let's suppose if i write like this and in the console dot log i am going to write this is not false value what will be the output will this uh, print or not see this is not false why because this is not this is like basically a empty string this has some value if it has some value that means it is not an empty but if i do like this it will not print anything that is what we considered as a false value but this would be considered as a true the value uh, and it has something that is it is a uh, empty string one now you might say then what about this 
will this print anything see no why this is a false but it it is considered as a string value so since it is a string so it will not print anything now what about this one what about this one again we have an output this is not false because this is an empty object and empty object is also considered as an to the value now what about this one again we have the same value for this one as well right so can you can you can you can you say that this is an empty object right so is this a equal to true value what is the output false why the output is false can can we see so in my previous example i have explained when we use the double equals to what happens uh, basically at first javascript try to convert this boolean value into the number so in the right hand side we have this one right now further it will try to convert this into the in, into the equivalent one so it get empty then again this empty value would be converted into the number so it is it has a zero so we have zero equals to equals to one which is excuse me considered as a false one so that is the reason why they are not same now let's play a game one more time so can you tell me what would be the output of this output is true how we have just seen true is converted into the number and when true is converted into the number it would become 1 and 1 plus 1 is equals to true what if if i do 1 plus now if i write again true so if i do so you would see the output is 1 true the reason at first it finds a string and again it will not now this time it will not convert this true into a number rather it will it would uh, you know append this as a string value so that is we have the output of one true similarly if you do one and if i try to any uh, add any value so you will see one and two because now this has become string and it will try to con 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 connect con con concat the other uh, other element as well as in a string value now i want to start with this one plus two right and add a string see the output is 33 why one plus two is three and then three plus three since this is a string again it concave this with three so the output is 33 so that is how in the javascript it works now i'm going to revert this how i'm going to revert at first i'm going to add this one and then one plus two c112 first it finds a string then make it uh, considered as a string it tries to concate one one and then since it is a string so it will again try to concate with one one and it becomes one one two so that's how it works but that was the with the plus sign what about this minus one if i add minus will again it try to concate with no the output would be zero because it first converted into the number and number is uh, 1 then 1 minus 1 which is equivalent to 0 let's try with an, one more thing let's suppose there is a variable called where x equals to 1 and after that in the statement is written like this so your concept needs to be perfect in order to understand these uh, questions so can you tell me the output what if i press enter here the output would be undefined the reason is see the statement is written like this where x equals to 1 that means x value is 1 right x value is 1 at that point point if you do a console.log you will find x equals to 1 but if you do y equals to x equals to type of y so this would start reading from the right hand side type of y at the time do you know what is the type y y is undefined so if if i do like s s s s this is not defined so it will always give me the undefined so when this statement was executed the value was undefined so type of y is undefined then the value set to x so x value become x value become is undefined that is why it is undefined also 
the y value so undefined is going to be assigned in this y1 so y value also become the undefined if you print x you will get undefined if you print y you will also get the undefined can you tell me what is the output of parts float of 1.223.44.45 tell me the output it would just give you 1.23 rest of the strings after the dot will be ignored so that is how it works one more thing we discussed i think in the last video as well can you tell me null is equivalent to undefined or not yes they are equal but what if if i do null triple equals to undefined it will give you the false and reason we all know because the type of null is object where is type of undefined is an undefined interesting one n a n equals to n a n it gives you the no value they are not equal okay uh, now let's say uh, i create an uh, let's suppose a variable uh, let me clear it out when name equals to coding locker right i have created a one name that that is in the global right i mean um, create a function then function uh, like print at anything and then uh, in the console dot log what i'm going to do i am asking you to print the output and then i am going to change the name from inside right can you tell me uh, I think I need to write one more time where name equals to function. Let me create a function, print it really quick, and in the console dot log, I want to print this name and I want to change the name, right? And after that, I will call this print it method. See. I have created the uh, name. Uh, let me call this met method now actually. And it says console.log, it says undefined. Why why it is says why it is saying undefined? Although the name is uh, coding, so it should have uh, printed type coding, but it is not printing. What is the reason? So the reason is when you have created that method, right? When you have created this meth that method. So the declaration of a variable where name is shifted to top. When the variable declaration is shifted to top, earlier it was like this, coding locker. Now you would see the global variable name is coding locker. In the method when, uh, this is what we call JavaScript, uh, hosting in JavaScript. So the declaration become at top. So this is a local variable. Now local variable is uh, gets the preference. So it try to you know print the name of local variable which is undefined value is not defined, right? So value is going to be defined here after this, not this time. And that is the reason why you got that undefined. So that is what we call the uh, hosting one. And there, there are a few more questions. I'll Since this video is getting a little bit more long, I'll, I'll post in a different one. So that's all about uh, today's video. Uh, guys, if you uh, if you have any queries or any doubts, you can always, always let me know. Thank you for uh, being at Coding Locker uh, and uh, have a nice day. See you, in, see you soon.